Hello everyone and welcome to Stellaris. I have not played this game in a very long time and that's partly because I didn't keep up with all the DLCs, I never got them, but somebody asked me to play it in the comments in one YouTube video or another and I decided with the Steam sale uh, at the year end to pick up two of the DLCs, uh, Utopia and the Ancient Relic Story Pack, based mainly on how I intend to play the game. And so I want to see how it goes. I understand many changes have been made. I don't know whether I like those changes or not. Uh, but here we are. I'll start a new game. I do have three mods. I don't know if they'll work with this version of Stellaris. I've got the 48 Empire Colors Revival mod. Uh, Beautiful, Beautiful Universe version 2. And the Kerbal Space Program mod, of course. So, I don't know if we're gonna start in the Kerbal system properly or not, like I did in the previous Stellaris series, but um, that would be nice. So, clicking new game, um, we've got a variety of um, things here. Uh, none of those are Kerbals. Let me create new. Uh, let's see. Mammalian. Okay. The reptilians. Avians. Arthropoids. Molluscoids. Fungoids. And then a, a single plantoid? Hmm. Okay, maybe this is not how you select it. Uh. All fields must be filled. Uh, well, it doesn't look like the mod is working, or at least I, maybe I don't remember how to select it. Maybe it's a... It's, is it a load game? Broken save, broken save. Well, that's the Kerbal Space Program one, so... Yeah, okay, maybe that's a bad sign. Hmm. All right. Well, we will create a new one then. Uh, let's see, how interesting do I want to be? Oh, cute fox thing. Uh, those are amusing. I'm a little bit disappointed in not being Kerbal though. Our avians are somewhat uninspired. Wow, that's curious. I like that this one has a helmet around. That's properly prepared right there. It's difficult to decide, to be honest. Oh yes, this is serious character right here. The little face almost sells this one. I seem to recall playing this one before, but I'm not gonna do it this time. Either that or I remember from this kind of creature from some other game. Probably the latter. I'm gonna go with these guys. I mean... I want my my uh, species to be accessible to the viewers, and I feel ma mammals are relatively accessible. Uh, what what would the roll of dice... No. Favarians? No. Aramathi. Hmm. Potitians? Oh god. Kazam! Okay. Okay. Kazams. Like Kerbals, this species endeavors to explore and develop tech technologies, but often causes unintentional explosions as period, hence their name, basically, yeah, that'll be good enough, next! Uh, humanoid? 
Hive Mine, Mammalian. ISS? No. Um, SOS. <laughs> Let's be prepared. I mean, you know. Uh, which set of names looks most pronounceable? Oh, those are the machine ones are really... I wonder how they classify names as molluscoid or any of this. Burrow Refuge, that's not too bad. Marrow is a little bit weird. SPQR. Oh, yeah, very, uh, very Latin. These look a little bit better. The leader names are serious, though. I, fe I feel like I'd like to mis mix and match, like have, um... Uh, the leader names from this one. And then, uh... The other names from Mammalian 2. But... In a pinch, I'll go with this one. First, the, the fleet names are a little bit uninspired, but it's okay. Now, given our uh, intent, I think uh, we will be industrious. Uh, or maybe natural engineers. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Quick learners? Not really, not necessarily. Nomadic. Hmm, maybe. Fleeting. I mean, that's bad on the leader thing, but... That fits the Kerbal thing. Definitely nomadic. Gonna go with uh, fleeting. And I think maybe quick learners. I, I want industrious though. Maybe. Well, I'll go with quick learners instead, just to balance things out uh, without getting a fifth trait. Where'd it go? Okay. All right, what kind of world? Homeworld name. Shouldn't it go with our other names? Kazakar. Surname Kaz. I'm just gonna should just keep this random. Wet tropical world? They look tropical, don't they? Dense vegetation. Seems like they would be. I mean, they looked apart. The Alright. Kazakar, a tropical world. They're, they're inches away from Ewoks, really. Oh, I don't see why I shouldn't pick anything but Mammalian City. Alright, Ethics. I don't know how these play out, I don't even remember how these play out, but... Efficient Bureaucracy, Environmentalist, I mean, it seems like it, right? I mean, that... Um... So, I, I don't know how the Civics... Oh, uh, that, that's been picked, I see. Corvée System... No, definitely not. Well, I mean, I guess Kerbals are sort of like that. It's not egalitarian. I think Kerbals voluntarily do what the government asks, though. I still want to be a Kerbal. Like, I just, anyway. I tried to update the mod. And it's the most updated version. It just isn't compatible anymore. Uh, Rehaven, Idealistic Foundation.
population happiness is plus five percent well definitely idealistic that makes sense meritocracy definitely if you don't die in a rock crash you excel um level cap plus one Okay, well, let's see about these. Ethics points. I think... I think... Yeah, let's assume it's egalitarian without being fanatical about it. Gestalt consciousness. Two points. Fanatical pacifist would be. I feel like that's go, that would be tough. Holds oh, an election every ten years to elect select a new ruler. Oligarchic. I feel like you know. I mean, this is uh, like NASA. Their government. It's sort of like the the. The, spe the people who know things will be selecting new rulers, but... No, let's go with meritocracy. Because I don't want... I mean, it shouldn't be plutocratic then. Erin Erinic? I haven't heard of that. Academic privileged living standards. That makes sense. Well, I guess they are materialist. It makes sense. Kerbals will be material. <laughs> okay, whatever these guys are. I don't even remember what their names are. Kazams, yes. Okay, Kazams from Kazakar. Kazams will be like this. Irenic bureaucracy. That makes sense. Basically, NASA's a Irenic bu bureaucracy, right? I think so. Empire name. Well... Uh, Kazam, um, R-U-D. Yes. Kazamia, I guess, maybe. Okay, I don't think I have 48 colors here. Yeah, so that doesn't work either. Nothing works, none of the mods work. Figures. Domination. Nope. Why didn't it go there? Why are these dominate? They all got swords and paradox. No. Pirate. Zoological. How about Rocket? I mean, is that too much to ask? Oh, uh, this is vaguely- that that looks sort of rocketish. That looks like a Falcon 9- a uh, Falcon Heavy, I mean. Sort of. If you squint. Red is a very dangerish color. That's- that's a little bit better. They're- they're, uh, earthy though. Yeah, that, that's that's more like it. They're they're used to woodlands and though I guess these colors wouldn't show up very well in the woods. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out what mods actually work, cause I want more choices. Avian ships. Yeah. I mean Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if they're mammals or not, they they use avian ships. Starting ruler. Well, she's female. Female's fine. Senna, daughter of Cory Brock. Daughter of Ink Trag. Gak. I'm gonna go with Gak. Coordinator. Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, we've saved. Done. Uh, well, let's give us some time. Mid-game start year, end-game start year, victory year. Really? Do I have to even decide that? Okay, what are the... Okay, so... There's... Cadet, Ensign, Captain, Commodore, Admiral, Grand Admiral. I'm... Newish? <laughs> I don't know too much. Let me go with Captain. I don't know what scaling difficulty... No, let's... Well, I mean, I might die quickly, but we'll keep it off. Iron Man mode. Console cheats are disabled. The game is automatically saved regularly in a single file. In games with this setting, there is no turning back. Okay, we'll do that. I'll just start fresh if I need to. Probably for the best. Okay, this will do. Remember, exploration. In search of those ancient relics that we got a mod for, kind of thing. Okay, in the eons since the first prim primitive Kazam communities took shape in the dense jungles of Kazakar, our civilization has spread and prospered. Unfortunately, our undisciplined minds we're still prone to emotional outbursts that could sometimes lead to violence, very Vulcan. Anyway, uh, as weapons became more deadly with each passing the uh, technological age, a complex system of government was devised to protect our citizens from harmful elements, including themselves. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane network, well, it didn't really tell me to pick which kind of hyperdrive thingy we had, but okay. I remember that from the old days, but I guess whatever. The finest minds of the the Kazam. <laughs> I shouldn't have put the then. Uh, the Kazam RUD. Uh, if you didn't catch RUD, that's uh, rapid un uh, unplanned disassembly, right? Uh, was it unplanned or some other uh, similar word? Uh, anyway, have uh, finished development of the first hyper drives. Okay. Peace be with you. Veer! That's a very Babylon 5 sort of thing. I feel like these icons are different and smaller. Can I make these bigger? I'm an old man. I need... I need big icons. Okay, well... Okay, that's fine. Uh, some tips only, please. I will provide tips. Okay. Well, building slot. We got mining district, generator district, city district. That seems to be all new. Agricultural district. And then nine out of fourteen total districts built. Two out of seven agricultural. So that's two filled, and then there's seven possible, and then six possible mining. Eight possible city districts. Yeah, that's all new. Um. Unpause, please. Uh, play? Oh, there we go. Normal speed. Okay, uh, do we have any ships at all? Here we see a... This is where we manage all ground forces on this planet. Miner, farmer... Okay. They used to have faces, didn't they? I want to build something, but I don't know what would be good. I don't think I have the resources right now. So... Just have to wait. Um, 
My fleets. I need fleets. Stations are used to extract the minerals and strategic resources of the object they orbit. This is our system's star base. These star base. stations mark military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire from threats or to expand our glorious rule through force of arms, if we so wish. Science ship. That's what I want. Which is used to survey astronomical objects unknown planets in a star system. A planet needs class to M star to make its resources visible. Red giant. Um Maxi map. Okay. Uh let's avoid the rim. I just have bad memories of intergalactic baddies coming at the rim and Yeah, let's let's go to the center. Uh explore system. And out goes our science ship. Maybe I should send our fleet. Let's send our fleet to somewhere else. We need a fully crewed science ship to explore a system we don't have any intel on. I see. So we always have to send our science ships first? Yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> Seems dangerous to me. So we'll go with that Urana colony, some Mandate, Vatnik colony, but only one habited, inhabited world. Well anyway, our economics are stable. And if we click on that, that... Okay, so we can see this. Wow, there's a lot of little worlds around here. Casaranis. Where's our, uh, we've got engineering research. Where is our leadership screen? Diplomatic mode, opinion map, AI attitude, neighbor map, unions, hyperlanes, map mode. Yeah, that's fine. One of our first priorities should be to... Okay. Um, no orders. Survey. Well, are you gonna survey the system? Click an object to survey. Oh, the survey system. There we go. Okay, now it's got a little path. That's good. Well, let's see what happens. Well, let's pick some the research. The screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized... Well, I think a fusion reactor would be good. With each field typically having three available research mm, options. Monthly unity, peace festivals, population growth speed might be tricky without having the peace festivals first, so... Let's just go with that. Army damage, engineering research from nanomechanics researchers? Or researchers plus 20% is separate. Okay. Yeah. Just en engineering research from nanomechanics. Hangar bay. Powered exoskeletons. I like powered exoskeletons, though. We seem to have a lot of these minerals. That's gonna take a while. 45 months, 46 months. Molten world. Get some science. Oh, energy credits. Energy credits. So that's still an unsurveyed system until the. This is uh, rather dangerous and inconvenient to send our science vessels first, but that means that we need more science vessels now. Where do I build vessels? 
seems important. It occurs to me I should probably have streamed this. Well, there's a shipyard there. And gotten help from the Stellaris pros. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient civilization on Rizar 4. They have been active in this region of space approximately 12 million years ago. Uh, judging from the age of the artifacts, from what they have been able to piece together, our scientists theorized that these aliens who call themselves the... How do we get their language trans <laughs> translated like that? Voltom Star Assembly were worm-like annelids, roughly 3 to 4 meters in length, that communicate with each other primarily through vibrations carried along their segmented bodies. Interesting. Situation log updated. Your attention, please. Okay, minor artifacts. These are an esoteric resource, a catch-all term for strange items we don't understand. Um, regardless of what any one item does, this resource can be used to enact a variety of decisions via the relics and mi minor artifacts screen. Yeah, those aren't links, apparently. Okay, the the, the Kaz <laughs> Kazam RUD is abuzz with news of the alien remnants that were recently studied. Is this the ancient relics thing? Um, these leavings are considered a definitive proof of intelligent, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone now, but at least not the first to be so. Okay, shipyard. Mm, trade hub shipyard. Uh, Anomaly found. Oh. Can we just zoom there? Resource system. There's an anomaly. Exquisite impact craters. However, something breaks the visual uniformity of one of the larger craters. Research! Centuries ago, a group of radical priests and their devoted followers on Kazakar broke away from the established religions to form their own church. I, I thought we were going with a no religion, very scientist y kind of thing, materialist, but okay. These extremists call themselves the Fist of God. Typical. And have been responsible for many atrocities and acts of terror over the years. Although they have, been, they have kept a low profile in modern times, we recently learned that many of their agents have infiltrated our military. These renegades have secretly been diverting resources to the construction of a small fleet of starships in a hidden facility on Kazakar. When their treachery was revealed, the cultists blasted into orbit on their ships and fled to Ephiri Mandate. Okay, the Fist of God event chain. Well, I don't see any choice. Situation log updated. Okay, um, that's researching that. Um, Starship. I want another science ship, please. And why don't we get a Corvette, too? Because we might lose something chasing those guys. Alright, where were they off to? Oh, uh, I think that's them. Okay. Yeah, my military power is less than their military power. All right, that's them. Hijacked fleet. Okay. Corvette, unyielding fate. Corvette, holy avatar. Corvette, divine fury. But these guys get any more stereotypical. How long until the station builds this Corvette? Do we we already got the science ship? Okay, next sign ship, go there. No? Uh, go... This is a sign ship. Oh, does it not have full crew? Oh, I guess we need to assign a leader. They're all busy. Hmm, we have some energy. No, I, I def they're all scientists. Propulsion. Complete.
Okay, the crater on X12009 exhibits long, irregular marks imprinted into the relatively soft upper layers of the asteroid. Science officer Corey, daughter of Putin, has recovered some interesting, unexpected wreckage from the edges of the depression. Wheeled vehicles, seemingly pers personal transports rather than research craft. The crew of the SOS Casaranas speculate that the crater may once have been used for sport, with some ancient species, uh, some alien species, pitting their personal locomotion devices against each other. Okay, pod racing. Okay, oh, well, I'll just we just get that one mm, available. Okay, so now. Can th this science ship explore here? S survey system. Evading hostile fleet. Oh! Hijack fleet uh, has come. Well, I. Sh the government screen presents us with information regarding our empire. Okay, we need to send our fleet over. How how did it, this fleet get in the way of our science ship when? Oh, are they all going at the same time? I'm unclear. I just want this Corvette. They, they all seem to be moved. Okay, now it's all. Um, this science ship is supposed to go down there. Is it? Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, well I'm gonna leave that battle for now. Okay, survey that. Hostile fleet. What? How are you? How is there any hostiles anyway? The way you're going. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh. Uh, cultist ship disabled. Sorry, I couldn't get a good view of that uh, battle. Our Valiant Space Forces have skillfully disabled the ship in the Cultist Armada. It is mostly intact and we are picking up faint life signs from inside its hull. Once we have eliminated all threats in the immediate vicinity, we should conduct a boarding operation to secure any survivors. They may be able to tell us more about the ultimate motives of the Fist of God. I think that their, their ultimate motives aren't that surprising but fine breach away looking good overall uh, the fist of God does not appear to be especially fisty today traditions available okay well they got they have one left uh, I mean, hopefully we can capture that I don't know what's going on with this one. It's under our control or no? The situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects. It's got to take 60 days to board this ship. Other points of interest. New items will likely appear. Okay. Exploring the galaxy. Well, it says research instead of like attack. So, and we must research all the things. So, all right, go for it. Even even our uh, military ships do research around here. How's our science ship over there? Still going about its business. We need to send a construction ship. This uh, engineering research is good. And maybe... Energy credits would be good too, especially since we hire our leaders with them. So, okay, construction this ship. Is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object such as it's not within our borders. We can order this ship okay, I need to check how to make it. I, I, I guess we need a. Okay, stop talking, man. Uh, we need to like colonize that place. Though the survivors offered stiff resistance, our boarding party was able to secure several prisoners from the disabled cultist starship. Uh, from them we have learned that this conspiracy goes far deeper than we initially suspected. The agents of the Fist of God include several flag officers. How did this happen right at the start of our thing? Uh, higher, I thought I picked govern, you know, a governing structure that would be most... you know... 
unamenable to this situation. But anyway, uh, mass arrests ha are being made on Kazakara and all assets belonging to this cult have been seized. However, several of the starships they built in secret remain unaccounted for and the upper echelons of the cult's leadership have vanished. They have picked up faint ion trails leading to several outlying systems. Okay. A leader gained a level though. Who is our leader leader anyway? The tradition screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. Discovery, definitely. I mean, obviously. Mm, cost uh, 300 whirlpools? Okay. What are those? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Unity, unity points. Okay. We, we get a lot of unity points anyway. Sure. To boldly go. Absolutely. Cost 351. Well, we'll need more uh, unity points for that. Now, mm -hmm. uh, shipyard. Can you... Colony ship. Yeah. Okay. I, I hope that's okay. It costs a lot. Is there a place that would be good to colonize in that? Do, is colonizing the only... I guess we could set up a, some other base maybe, but I don't know. Research all the anomalies. Mm, molten world. I mean, Rizar 2 seems... It has a nice little tag and everything. Okay, we surveyed that one pretty quickly. The leader has gained a level. Anomaly. Yeah, we're researching that anomaly. Okay, well, this is a pretty crappy system. Survey that one then. I'll just go back home. Can we send you over to this? Oh, we can't build any sort of station thing. Oh, um, here we can build a star base. There's not much benefit to it, though. Maybe we can build a star base in the other one once we've finished exploring it. I think the problem is we haven't finished exploring it, so we don't know whether it's claimed or not, maybe. We'll wait. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Rizor 5A. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the SOS Casaranis managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a male or revered leader. Okay, we got society research. Well, I think as we are surveying uh, things right now, I'm going to uh, call it an episode. I'm going to continue playing. I'll just start recording the next episode right away. But uh, I think it's best to cut things up a little bit right now. And so I'll say uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.